Disgusting Irish bog trotter. You know, Uncle, I don't think Lawford is Irish. So what's happening to the sharp? Oh, that's all in hand, Sir Henry. And I have to say, it was an absolute pleasure to arrange. Good. I say, all right. Drink, sir. Thank you. I don't fight duels over whores. I do. Sharp just threw away his promotion. My orders are perfectly clear, Lawford. Dueling is strictly forbidden. I shall make no exception in respect of Captain Sharp. If he fights Barry at dawn, he will be back among the ranks before the sun is up. There is no more to say, sir. Yes, sir. French hopping about a bit, Hogan. Yes, sir. Send out a patrol to take a look. Not too big. Eight men, two officers. I have done so, sir. About an hour ago. Captain Sharp and Lieutenant Barry. That should do the trick, Hogan. from home, sir. Running back to show them the hero's wound, dear boy. I've decided not to wait till dawn. I'm going to kill you tonight. But there's no hurry. I want to hear you beg for mercy first. So I'm going to kick you again. And again. And then you can beg. This is going to hurt quite a bit, old boy. So will the soul boy. Oh, my God. I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee. And I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, never more to offend thee, but to amend my life. Amen. You won't be able to, Harper. I don't know what, sir. Amend his life. He hasn't time. Maybe you're right. He'll hardly be needing this, so. Leroy gets his loan back. What'll I do with him? Stick him behind the French pickets. He'll be among the glorious dead tomorrow. I think he's gone off, sir. <laughs> that bastard was gone off even when he was alive. Brandy. Oh. 
Here's 14 shillings on the drum For those who volunteer to come To list and fight the French today Over the hills and far away O'er the hills and o'er the mains Through Flanders, Portugal and Spain King George commands and we obey Over the hills and far away What are you doing down here, sir? You should be up in the mess with your own kind. They're not my own kind, Harper. The lads want to toast your promotion, sir. I'm with a stomach for it. We're fighting the French tomorrow. We could all get killed. Would you not just put it out of your mind for one night? And what man is there that hath betrothed the wife and has not taken her? Let him go and return unto his house, lest he die in battle and another man take her. It's Deuteronomy. There's a woman out on the street looking for Captain Sharp, sir. Oh, every cripple has his own way of walking. O'er the hills and o'er the main, through Flanders, Portugal and Spain, King George commands and we obey, over the hills and far away. Teresa. Is it true? Is it true that tomorrow you will try to take a French eagle? Lennox died at the bridge. We lost the colours. And I thought you had more sense. And I thought you knew me better. You think it's funny to die for an eagle? I am a soldier. Would you care if I died? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I shall take care not to. Hogan. Horse, foot, cannon. French outnumber is three to one. Does he know something I don't, Hogan? He knows three things, Lawford. He knows that on his right, the French will not attack the fort. He knows that on his left, Simerson will run. And in the center, he knows that Daddy Hill will stand. Means nothing to me either, Lawford. That's why he's a general, and we ain't. And what are your intentions, Sir Arthur? Why, Hogan? I mean to give the French a damn good thrashing. Not work, lads. Yesterday, sir, when you let off the cannon. Ah, you're a bloody liar, Dobbs. Rooting on poor Berry, dear boy. Death of a hero. We must all hope to die so bravely. What the devil's that? Wait! 